that would maintain my hormones, my central nerve system in perfect working condition? No, they didn't ask these questions. This was never even thought of. They went on to tell us about Plato, the philosophers. Plato, Aristotle, Diogenes, as if though that matters. The archaeologists were telling us about the various fossils that was found in Egypt 10 million years ago. The others, the historian, they talk about what took place in Africa so many hundreds of thousands of years ago. But never did one said that he found or that they found a food that is consistent with our cellular structure. And that is of most importance. You see, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, to understand healing, to understand health, one has to be very extremely careful because each group depends on different food. So while they was talking to us and forcing us, I remember the conversation, oh, this group of people, they are dead. Black people are dead. No, black people are not dead. Black people are not ignorant. Black people has been misinformed. So since our food was not brought on those ships, we are eating something that offends our biology. And in offending our biology, it offends our thinking pattern. This is why we are vulnerable to, this, to the discretion of many. Yes, we are. You know, it's like putting gasoline in a diesel motor. It's not going to run. It just can't run. So in placing the fuel that is improper for that engine, we find that there is problems. And what do you think is happening to us? Could we dialogue and make sense? It's difficult today. Cyanide has played such an important role in detouring that thinking pattern. And we have been so resistant that if we are told that Africa holds the secret to our health and our existence, we would quickly deny that there is a connection when deep down the Creator placed us in Africa with a food that is consistent with us. Now we find ourselves angry. Our children, very angry. They are born nervous. There is such thing as ADD, attention deficit disorder. There's also the undermining, the little untruths that we tell each other, the impatience, the love, that's been gone. Love is out the window. Because it would be impossible for us to love ourselves first while ingesting cyanide. It confuses thought pattern. It disarranges the central nerve system. And one finds himself very angry. I know. I experienced that. So what we did, after understanding that these things were not forthcoming, we decided to travel the world. 
once arriving at the understanding that when God does things, this, it should be respected. We went to Africa, Central and South America. We find a tropic of plants. We put them together, and this is what we found, that there is only one disease, and that was said for the first time to the Supreme Court of New York in 1988, that there is only one disease. That one disease that is afflicting us is the basis for all manifestations of pathology. The mucous membrane has been compromised. Compromised by what? By an acid substance. You see, our body are alkali. The food should be alkali. Being that it is alkali, it is acid-free and it is electrical. You will never find a battery that says acid battery. No. If the battery has energy, it is alkali. So at the Usha Research Institute, we took the pain-taking task of compounding these products that you know today as natural, vegetation, cell food which assimilates immediately. Natural vegetation cell food, which will nourish the body and render the electricity that the body really needs to maintain that vibration, that vibrance, that, that energy, that, that livelihood, that, that sight, that life quality. Now that we find ourselves at this juncture, what do we do? Well, like I said, it is our duty. It is not the duty of the European race, the Chinese, the Eskimo, the Indian people from India. That was our responsibility. So this is why we put together a food the blood. We call it Maya. That is of a trademark. In that Maya you find many, many herbs that addresses the blood plasma. We also, in the same therapeutical package, we put together a compound for the bones. We call it Fucus. Focus is a compound with sea moss and bladder rat. That was put together proportionally balanced to strengthen the calcium cells. We put together another compound for the central nerve system. We know that the central nerve system depends on what? The central nerve system depends on copper and carbon. Why? Because the brain is copper and carbon. It produces electricity. If you were to visit an electrical plant, whether in Nevada or in your automobile, just open your generator. The piece of equipment in your car that produces the electricity that lights your whole dashboard and your headlights. When you open that generator, all you find is a copper wheel that is turning and some carbon brush rubbing against it. The friction of copper on carbon produces electricity. That I was able to extrapolate from Mr. Benjamin Banneker. It was then that I realized that for me to adequately nourish the brain, I had to find those substances. And I could only find them in certain places of the planet. I find them in the King Keliba in Africa. I find them also in the Marula. I find them in the Popa. This is what we put together recently is the African formula. 
the African formula has